we've been camping at Pichilingue Beach and we love it here. Here's why. Pichalinga Beach is located just outside of La Paz. It's about 30 minutes away and that leaves you close enough that you can go into the city to grab anything that you need. You can stay out here for as long as you want and just make day trips back. Or you could be um, isolated, feel like you're totally isolated from uh, the city itself. It's a beautiful sandy beach here with clear water. It's super dog friendly and the dog loves to play here on the beach and that's a huge plus for us. There's also crystal clear water, you can go paddle boarding, you can go snorkeling, you can go swimming, and the water is perfectly clear underneath you. It's like an aquarium when you're looking down over the reef that's just off to the side. You can look down and see tons of different kinds of animals. It's a pretty vibrant reef for this part of Baja. The bay here is also very protected, so on windy days it doesn't get as windy here like it would at um, other beaches in the area, so we like that as well. There is a great place you can camp here at Pichalingue. There are two spots. You can either camp out on the beach closer to the boat ramp or you can camp behind the mangroves. And we've camped at both and we prefer being behind the mangroves, which offers a little bit more privacy. Another reason that we love Pichalingue is that there is great cell service and we have to work. We have jobs that we have to do on the road and cell service is a big, big priority. The other beaches here that are further south out of the city do not have cell service or if they do, it's not that great. And here we get 4G and that's perfect for working. I mean, I hate that I have to work while I'm at the beach, but I can't think of a better office than to open the door and have this beautiful view right here and then be able to close the screen and get to work. Work for a couple hours, go out for paddle board, come back, work for a couple hours, take the dog for a swim. It's a really, really amazing place to have to work if you do have to work from the road. And the bugs aren't that bad here, except for maybe today. Because <laughs> it, <laughs> it's not windy and there are some gnats and some flies out. But unlike the other beaches in this area, Tecalote and Belandro, which are beautiful, they're great but they have sand flies. And here we haven't had any sand flies at all, which has been awesome because sand flies can be horrible. But another great thing about being here is it's free. It's free to camp. How do we forget to mention that? <laughs> it's probably one of the number one reasons, except for being beautiful, that it's free. It costs nothing to camp out here, which is awesome. There are trash cans and there is a service that comes around almost every day. This is a place that is free and if we take care of it, it will probably continue to be free. But as there becomes more trash and more filth and people not taking care of this, this beach, uh, at some point I'm sure the, the government will change its mind about it. So be mindful just because it is free doesn't mean um, it's free for you to do whatever you'd like. Leave no trace. What do we not like? The tubas. <laughs> the tubas. The tubas. The tubas are, are constant out here. <laughs> And by that I mean locals will pull up and they'll make a beach day of it, great. But then they take these boombox speakers out, like amplified speakers and just start blasting music 15 feet away from where they're parked. And of course, being half the beach away, it's still really loud. And then mm. sometimes Friday nights, Saturday nights, and even Sunday nights, shoot, even Tuesday nights. I mean, it just really depends on what, what's going on, I guess. But people will come out here and they will play music until sometimes 5 in the five morning. 5 in the morning. We've been woken up at 5 in the morning. But it hasn't been awful. It's not so. awful and it's not every night. So you just kind of roll the dice with... Turn the fan on and sleep through it. Yeah, a little white noise. 
the boat tour traffic and tours traffic can be bad here. Um, we noticed that on the section of the beach that we're parked on now behind the mangroves, there is less of that. They like to park further down closer to the boat ramp. So if you do decide to camp here near the boat ramp, you probably will get a little bit of boat tour traffic. One of the other things about Pichilingue that's not the best is that it is next to the port. And so there is port traffic. You'll hear the port operating throughout the night. You'll hear big rigs off in the distance. Not in the middle of the night, um, and it's not terribly loud. It hasn't been too bad. No, but it's not the sexiest view. It's not like camping in um, a Bay of Conception where you've got absolutely nothing around, or even better, out of the Bay of LA. It's not like camping there where you have nothing obstructing your view, just 100% nature. You do have the port here, and that, um, and that breaks up the scenery a little bit. So wrapping things up, we really love Pichalingue Beach. Because it is beautiful sandy beach, it's dog friendly, there's clear water, a reef right off the coast that you can get to just walking off the beach. You can paddleboard, kayak, swim, snorkel, fish. It's 30 minutes to La Paz if you need to go into town and grab something. There's also cell service if you do have to work or you want to stay connected or maybe you want to binge a little bit of Netflix. You can paddle out to the Sea Lion Colony which is just a 45 minute paddle or so away. You've got the privacy of the mangroves or you can camp in an open beach area. The bugs aren't typically all that bad and of course it's free. So this makes Pichalingue one of the best places that you can camp in Baja. If you liked this video please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.